If you follow these four simple steps, I guarantee you, you can completely troubleshoot the magneto on any small engine, okay? First step is always going to be to install a spark tester in line with your spark plug lead and your spark plug. This isolates your magneto. And with just by installing this and pulling on the rope and looking through the sight glass, if we see an orange flashing light, that means our magneto is working and we can eliminate that from our possible problems. If there is no flashing light, then we need to move on to the kill circuit of the magneto. This terminal on your magneto has a wire connected to it. When that wire is connected to ground, all the energy from the magneto is absorbed through that wire into ground and nothing goes to your spark plug anymore. Simply, temporarily remove this wire from your magneto, test for spark again. If I now have spark, I know the problem is in that wire and in that circuit is being grounded and I need to find out why. If I still do not have spark, I now need to test resistance of my magneto. There's only one resistance check to make and it is between the spark plug lead and anywhere on the middle part of the magneto body, including the grounding terminal. I have my own meter set up here on ohms and I have it set on a 20,000 ohm setting. We're looking for a reading between 2.5 and 5 kilo ohms. Anything outside of that range is probably going to mean a defective magneto. As you can see, without my two leads touching anything, I'm reading infinite resistance or an open circuit. When I touch my two leads, I have zero resistance or a short circuit. If I test my magneto and I get an open circuit reading, infinite resistance, your magneto is fried, it's defective, you need a new one. If I test on my on my lead in the body of the magneto and I get a short circuit or any kind of very low resistance like 100 ohms or 200 ohms, your magneto is defective, it needs to be replaced, period. If you pass all these tests, the last thing to possibly check is the air gap between the magneto and the flywheel. This is exactly what was wrong with the machine I just fixed a couple days ago. I had no spark. Stop switch is not the problem. Perfect 5k ohm resistance. And when I went to actually check the magneto, I found that this machine from the factory had not tightened the two bolts holding the magneto down. And probably the first time this machine was in operation, the magneto shifted, losing the correct air gap to the flywheel, and this machine never ran again for six years. Of course, that clogged up all the fuel system like crazy because from sitting there, but the whole problem was these two bolts not being tight. So I'm going to show you how to test, how to set this. It's real easy. Okay, it's coming up in a clip. I'm going to take the top of this engine off and show you how simple it is to do this. Test your spark, test your kill switch, test your resistance of your magneto, test your air gap. 100% guaranteed you'll find your problem. Setting your magneto is take, should take probably less than one minute once you've gotten to this point. First step is to rotate your flywheel until you find the magnet and make sure it's pointed away from your magneto. So we're going to turn it. And there's our magnet right there. We're going to make sure it's turned a little ways away from my magneto. Okay, see? No magnet. Magnet. Okay? Turn that away from your magneto. Then with a quarter inch wrench, I'm going to just loosen these two screws up here. Holding the magneto in place. I'm going to pull the magneto backwards. All the way back in the slot. And just barely snug these two bolts down so it doesn't move. Take my flywheel, I'll bring it back and position it exactly centered on my magneto, perfectly in, in center with it. I'm gonna take a standard business card. I'll place that business card, make sure it covers the whole 
length of your magneto arms there, place it in place, and then loosen each screw, okay? And watch what happens. Oops. Okay, pulls in on its own, and this that business car is gonna set the proper gap for us. At this point, tighten each one down securely now. These are small bolts, all right? I'm doing this with a hand wrench. Don't go cranking down on that. You're going to break them. Lastly, all I got to do is turn the flywheel so you can pull the shim out. And you're done. That's it. You now will get a spark if this was not set correctly. That simple, guys. That's pretty much everything you need to know about a Magneto. Appreciate everybody watching.